What a matchup. And what a tee, Mike. Metro PCS and the iPhone SE for $0 on a network that covers 99% of people in the U.S. Oh, impressive. Play with the best. Switch to Metro PCS and an unlimited LTE plan and get a 32 gig iPhone SE for $0. Metro PCS. Coverage not available in some areas, plus sales tax. Claim based on talk and text. Not valid for active numbers currently on the T Mobile network or active on Metro PCS in the past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions. You're listening to the Fantasy Sports Radio Network. It's Scout Fantasy Sports. That's right. New time here on the Fantasy Sports Radio Network. It is Scout Fantasy Sports. I'm Adam Ronis with you for the next hour, taking you until 8 p.m. Eastern as we are a couple days away from opening day in the Major League season. You can catch all my work, ScoutFantasySports.com. Follow me on Twitter, at Adam Ronis. Rankings getting updated again. I know some of you still have some drafts tonight, tomorrow, maybe Thursday morning, and some people still have... AL and all only leagues over the weekend as well. So we have you covered at scoutfantasysports.com. Put up an article today, spring training observations, some things that I saw in the spring that I took note of. So you could check that out as well. We'll get you prepared for DFS. Steve Renner, Scout DFS. He will join me in about 20 minutes as he'll give you some tips on getting into DFS fantasy baseball if you haven't played and take a look at the slate on Thursday. Every team is in action beginning at 12.35 p.m. Eastern Time, so we'll have you covered there. But we'll kick it off with some of the news of the day, and it's important, especially if you are yet to draft or maybe these guys could be on the waiver wire. But Arizona made an announcement today about their closing situation, and it is going to be Brad Boxberger. Not a major surprise. I will say that I've uh, taken Yoshishi Hirano in a lot of leagues, so I'm heavily invested in him. I probably have him in almost every league I've drafted, taking him late. Thought he might get a shot. Watched him pitched in the spring. He has closer experience in Japan, and he doesn't have an explosive fastball, but he has a good sw- uh, splitter. And I know he had a couple of innings where he struggled, giving up some home runs. So I thought he would have a shot. I knew it was not going to be Archie Bradley. It's not a surprise that they wanted him to continue to work in that setup role where he can pitch multiple innings. He can come into the game in the seventh inning with – Runners on base, get out of it, and then pitch to eighth. So it's not a surprise at all. I, If you've seen my rankings, I have not put Bradley in that closure spot. I saw some people have him in the top 12. He wasn't there for me. In fact, he was outside my top 20. He can still be a very valuable fantasy commodity, a la Andrew Miller, but he's not going to get you a ton of saves this year. That's just the bottom line. Bradley, a former starter, so uh, he was very good last year. And uh, had a 1.73 ERA, uh, didn't give up home runs, had a whip of 104. Not the elite strikeout rate that some of the other relievers give you, but Bradley certainly could be very productive. And it's also, he's going to give you more innings, you know, 73 last year. You know, sometimes uh, that's a little bit more than what you're getting out of a closer. As far as Boxberger, uh, he was another guy that went late in drafts. I he, he might be available in some leagues in the waiver wire, but especially in the very in the leagues where people are knowledgeable and take all those relief pitchers that have a chance to close, he's probably owned. Boxberger's biggest risk is health. Uh, He really hasn't pitched much over the last two years, and that's uh, the the biggest thing for me. He saved 41 games for the Tampa Bay Rays in 2015, but in 2016, 24 in the third innings, and last year, 29 in the third innings. And, you know, he's had issues with walks and home runs, so I don't think he's a lock to keep this job at all. I could see him losing it pretty quickly, and that's why – I might hang on to Hirano a little bit, and obviously with the short week beginning on Thursday, you're going to see, uh, especially in weekly leagues, you might not be able to make moves to Sunday anyway. So Boxberger could go out there, maybe blow a game in the first uh, first or second game of the year. So I'd still hold on to Hirano if I had him for now and then see what happens on Sunday when your waiver wire league opens. But I'm still not convinced that Boxberger is going to be able to keep this job. So I'll still have Hirano on the radar. And if you got Archie Bradley, hopefully you didn't draft him with the mindset that he was going to close. The longer this went on and they didn't make an announcement that Bradley was the closer, it was pretty clear that he wasn't going to close. If they wanted him to, they would have said it right away. But I think it's uh, they just like using him multiple innings, and it could be also an arbitration issue too uh, that they don't want to pay him. So 
Again, don't panic if you already have Bradley, but hopefully you didn't draft him, penciling him in for 35 saves because that's not going to happen.